it's, it's about it's about that big in comparison. I'm sure you've all seen this comparison before, but I just wanted to see it for myself in person. You know, get what it's like. And also the D pad. I didn't even know. I didn't even say anything about the D pad yet. Been a while since you've seen that intro, hasn't it? What's going on, guys? My name is Rano, and I've always been waiting to make this video because I've been waiting for it to come out and for me to actually get my hands on mine. But we finally have it, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the Nintendo. Come on, the Nintendo Switch Lite. As you can see, we got it right here. I got mine this morning, and I've been waiting to open it up for you guys and for myself. But the first thing I noticed here is the box is actually really small. I thought it would be a little bit bigger than this at least. But it's funny, the box itself is actually as big as a regular Switch. So that shows you just how small the light is in comparison to the system if the box is as big as the original system. So we're going to take a look at the box first here, obviously. We've got the art on the sides and the front back there, sharpening the stuff on the bottom, and instead of logo on the top, all the usual stuff, we've seen this from boxes before, but let's get into actually opening this thing and seeing what it is about. And as you can see, obviously I got the teal one here, and let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, was that my camera? Did I, did I knock that? So we're gonna take it out, and there it is. Not wasting any time, get into the switch light front and center. And this is my first time actually ever getting my hands on one because I obviously Nintendo doesn't know I exist. There we have it. Oh it feels small, obviously, but it feels great. Like it feels so natural. <laughs> if anyone does not get that joke. Um, I'll just play a clip of what it's from right now. Oh my god! Feel, feel the buttons. See? Oh, it feels so, like, natural. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys the console now that we got it out. Um, the front, it has almost like a more texture feel to it, and I really like that. And it's not as thin as a regular Switch, if not a little thinner. Everything is still there, the components we've come to know. Um, Nintendo Switch logo on the back. What else do we have in here? Some paperwork. And the charger, which if you take a look here, it's uh, worth noting that the Switch Lite charging cable and the block is actually, as far as I'm aware, the exact same as the one that came with the original uh, Nintendo Switch. With maybe a few minor uh, technical differences. Here and there, but as far as I'm aware, it is the exact same. There's a couple things I want to do before I actually set up the Switch Lite, and that is obviously comparing it to the regular Switch. So I have my regular Switch here with the red Joy-Con on it, um, and we got the Switch Lite, obviously, and we line them up. It's about um, the system and one Joy-Con in width, and you can see there. It, uh, it's about, it's about that big in comparison. I'm sure you've all seen this comparison before, but I just wanted to see it for myself in person, you know, get what it's like. And also, the D-pad! I didn't even know, I didn't even say anything about the D-pad yet. Let's see how that feels. I like that. I really like that. That's gonna be really nice. Should we turn it on now? I feel like I've done everything else. Open it up, got it out of the box. I, I mean, this is an unboxing and first impressions video after all, so let's get some impressions. So what we actually can do here is we should be able to go to Data Management, Save Data Cloud, and because our user is already connected, our save data should be able to just be there. It's uh, taking a while to load there, isn't it? Well, you get the point. Um, it should show up there eventually. If you already have a switch and, you're, and you plan on getting a switch light, you want you're gonna want to set the switch light as your primary device. Now the reason I say that is because your primary switch device can play any games no matter what, regardless of like you need to check like hey you actually own this game and can just play it 
on the system because it's downloaded on that system. It's your primary switch. It doesn't have to, it shouldn't have to check anything, right? With, with any other subsequent switches that you get, it's going to need to do an online check. It's going to need to check um, the internet. It's going to need to say, like, checking if this software can be played, like how it does with Nintendo Switch Online, the first time you boot that up, and for games that you pre-purchase. The way you do that is you need to deregister your first Switch as your primary. So because I'm going to be bringing this one around with me portably, I don't want to have to do an offline, I don't want to have to do an online check anytime I play games, because obviously I might not be able to online check every time I go to play a game, because I might not be on internet. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's a really simple process. I'm um, just going to go into the eShop here, and oh, Link's Awakening came out today. Look at that. And you want to go up to your profile there, scroll down to the bottom here, and right there where it says um, this console is registered as your primary console, you're going to want to de-register that. And I'll say, are you sure you want to deregister? Just go ahead and hit yes. And now I'll just say this console has been deregistered. The next console you use will be your primary console. So now what you want to do with that is you can just hit OK and pay no more mind to it. You can go ahead and just close out of that if you want to. And open the eShop on your Switch Lite. You're probably going to have to put in your password for the first time. Just confirm that it's you. And it says this console treasured as your primary console. So there you go. That's the easiest way to do it. And we're going to have to wait a little bit for it to install. So while I am doing that, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll just be right back, I guess. So after playing a game on the Switch versus the Switch Lite, it feels pretty different on the Switch Lite, especially considering the D-pad and the considerable size difference. It almost feels better to play it in uh, handheld because of the uh, just how small it is and it feels more like a handheld system, which they Nintendo did that perfectly. It feels so much better like a um, actual handheld system. They play just like on the go, uh, you know, on the bus, on the wherever you're going, versus this, this feels pretty big now that I'm comparing it to the Switch Lite. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. But, overall, I really do like the Switch Lite, um, and honestly, a little more than I was expecting, because <laughs> I wasn't sure how I was going to, uh, how I was going to like it in comparison to the regular Switch, since you know it can't dock, it doesn't have detachable Joy-Cons, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that, it lacks so many features that makes the Switch, the Switch, and yet, here I am, I love it! <laughs> like, I feel like this will be my Switch that I take with me everywhere now, and I can just leave this one, I can leave my main Switch at home, for streaming and for Smash Bros and other things like that, where that's its intended purposes because that's all I started using this switch for essentially because I didn't want to have to bring it around me everywhere. This is small enough that I can easily bring it with me and not have to worry about you know having enough room in my bag or anything like that and I can just I don't even need this power cable I can just bring a regular USB-C and like a battery bank and it works fine. I just need a carrying case and a screen protector for it and then I'm good. And also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I really do like the color. I wasn't sure how I was going to like the color in person, because I don't know how the camera reflects it. This camera also makes things a lot cooler than they actually are. I don't know why it does that. That's just one of the settings, and I can't really fix it to make it more natural, no matter how hard I've tried. But overall, um, my first impressions of the Switch Lite are I really like it. And I'm probably going to be using this as my daily driver Switch system that I can just have a couple games on and play while I'm out, um, you know, while I'm in the car going somewhere or while I'm uh, on the bus, for example, and I can just take it out of my bag and, um, you know, play a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, Fire, Fire Emblem. That's a game I actually need to finish. I still need to finish Fire Emblem, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I'll actually use this um, as valid excuse uh, for that. <laughs> 
But with that being said, and with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below and leave a comment Tell me what are your thoughts on the Switch Lite. If you're planning on picking one up for yourself or a family member or a friend, what do you think of it? Do you think that you would use it? Do you think they would use it? Do you... What do you, what do you think? What are, your, what are your thoughts on this thing? <laughs> Just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.